Our top story tonight. One person is in custody after a standoff with authorities in Pueblo West. Two deputies with the Pueblo County Sheriff's Office were shot but are expected to make a full recovery. Cardio News Channel 13's Jen Moynihan is live near the home on East Farley Drive and Tenderfoot Lane where there still may be some lingering danger. Jen. Yeah, Mia, even now you can still see behind us a law enforcement presence near the home off Tenderfoot Lane. And according to the Pueblo County Sheriff's Office, they'll remain here throughout the evening as a bomb team works to ensure the safety of the area. 48 year old Eddie Lovins is in custody tonight following a standoff with deputies at a home in Pueblo West. Pueblo County Sheriff Kirk Taylor says deputies responded to the home on Tenderfoot Lane after the suspect made a threatening call to authorities in Tennessee. Our uh, Sergeant Rood and uh, Deputy uh, Nick Baruman responded out to contact an individual who had been calling in threats to uh, the state of Tennessee uh, State Patrol and the Capitol building in Tennessee. He says deputies attempted to make contact with Levins once earlier this morning and then again this afternoon following a second threatening call to Tennessee authorities. First time we weren't able to contact anybody, the second time we went out and my deputies and uh, my sergeant and my deputy that went out immediately started to take fire from the house. One deputy was shot in the head, the other was struck in his left shoulder before Levins was taken into custody. We did fire one round of non-lethal. Uh, we're able to neutralize the suspect and he is in our custody. According to authorities, Levins is a veteran with a history of mental illness with knowledge of explosives. Never before has he ever acted in this way. We do believe alcohol was a factor in this case as well. Right now, the sheriff's office says they have no reason to believe there are any additional suspects. However, until they're able to fully assess any other potential threats on the property, nearby residents are being asked to stay indoors. There will be a lot of law enforcement presence out in that area throughout the evening. And we're currently uh, securing a search warrant. And then we'll, we'll send the robot in and make sure that it's safe. Now, both deputies who were taken to the hospital as a result of the incident have both been released and are expected to make a full recovery. We're told they're in good spirits. Reporting in Pueblo West, Jen Moynihan, Cardio News Channel 13.